Thanks for staying with us. So, a clergy woman, Pastor Funke Felix Adejimon, in a trending video, asked women to ensure they always cover their husband's nakedness, as there is no perfect man anywhere. According to her, stop celebrating your husband's failures. Is it because people are not telling you their own stories? Mm -hmm. You know what people have gone through and are going through. I mean, and this of yours went viral. You know, like find this plain, simple advice mm. just goes <laughs> viral like this. Anyway, because it's, people are talking about it, we thought, you know, let us to share a few experiences on this. I, I really agree with um, this, um, Pastor Jim Cardino on this. Uh, what, nakedness being inferred that no human being is perfect. And I've seen this play because I've seen some people that when, the things, when things are bad, the people you tell about your husband's mishap when things are bad will, re will retain the consciousness of what you've done and they will not realize that maybe it's changed or things have gotten better. We say it in Yoruba for our, our parents. That means don't sell your family members cheap to your in-laws, to your husband, because you can't buy it back. They, if you disrespect your parents to your husband or to your family, your in-laws, they would disrespect, they would, sh they would carry on that disrespect to people that you believe they should respect. So it's important we protect our spouse so that we don't just say husband. But how come this story went viral? Why, why, why are people... Um, I think it, it may have, have gone viral because it? a lot of times, uh, and very recently we've seen maybe celebrities have come out to talk about, oh, he hurt me, he did this to me, and, you know, everybody seems to be talking about their problems on social media. A lot of people are coming to social media to discuss their issue. Mm -hmm. And we have always heard, you know, growing up about marital issues should be resolved between the man and the woman in the home, in the secrecy of the home. So I get her message, and I think it's an important message. We must cover each other's nakedness. I think that's what family and friends do for each other. We all have our weaknesses, and we, are hope we rely on each other, you know, um, for strength. But another thing about this message, which we should be careful not to make it about, is that in keeping quiet about some nakedness, we do not allow um, some, things, some things fester. We're talking of domestic violence. We're talking of child abuse. You know, those are the things that sometimes when women come out or have been afraid to talk about because of messages like this, oh, cover their na nakedness, but don't cover it to the point where it has to do with your own um, life yeah, and your sanity or your children's lives. So, for example, your husband so, is a pedophile. You, you know? must speak up. You must speak up. Don't, if you are being busy, you yes, that's not a nakedness mm -hmm. you need to cover. You must speak up. You must, you know, they've said a lot of the times, the reason why some women die at home from domestic violence is because they are silent. And we have encouraged women to not be silent, speak up so that you can get the help that you need. So, so we need to separate so I said, that. So, so very good. So we're looking at the advice. We're taking it, mm. but don't take it hook, line, I see. I would, I would advise, don't Weakness. report, don't report the, your spouse or your partner to someone who cannot solve the problem. I know exactly. You know, so if I report, if I'm reporting um, Nima to you, I know you can mediate between Nima and I, but if I report uh, Nima, to, to social media, so, to social media, or someone in the makeup room, or to my driver, that person cannot mediate or solve the problem. I am mainly just venting and disrespecting this, mm -hmm. and I'll bring disrespect to the person. So you don't um, report or announce the issue that you know that the people that you are discussing with cannot solve that problem that. for them. So, so when you're with your friend, your girlfriends, and your husband just did something to you that's really, really annoying, because your friends might not be able to mediate, because your husband might not even listen to them, mm -hmm. don't bother. Mm. But if it's somebody you respect as a couple, then you can, you can now vent because you know that person will obviously can hold, call, can have that and hold that information in, yeah. in secrecy. And then yeah. you have to also look, are you looking to mediate or are you looking to rant and vent? Because mm. you're allowed to vent. Yeah, and you're allowed I like to, to vent. vent. Yeah, and you're allowed to vent. You know, there are some people that Who's listen to you. Yes. Yeah. So there are people that would listen to you. They know you're venting. And all the things you're saying, they know you would never do it. And they would discourage you if you try to. <laughs> but they understand that you need to just vent. Mm. Because I, I think what Pastor um, Funke Adejimo is trying to say is protect each other. Mm. Yeah. We all, we, we, we become vulnerable and mm -hmm. we express everything. We tell each other. Mm. So whilst men, especially men to women, a woman tells you her whole entire life, I've, those have hurt her. And she still, because she loves Tokwe, she wants to reconcile with Tokwe. But you still hold on to what Tokwe did to her 15 mm. years ago. So we're using this opportunity to say, listen, allow people to heal. And be able to forgive, once they're forgiving somebody, you forgive alongside. Alongside, eh?